Welcome, welcome to all the amazing YouTube people. Don Niemer here with another Cards of Owl Tropical Island video. So last time we made a chair, now it's time for the table. We are exploring everything, all the nice things the newest update has to offer to us and well, looking to make the home comfortable so we can enjoy a nice stress-free environment. Our morale is a little bit low, we kept talking to the captain here and well, I think we are done with that. <laughs> I explored it, didn't say anything interesting well actually didn't say anything period and now we're gonna talk to our real friend here weston weston's like i told you he's not a good person to talk to and well uh, we kind of agree anyhow let's see the situation here so we built a chair and we started putting wooden planks into the table well i can actually do the next step it's a little bit dark though so we will need to like start up some fire also i can see that my wood shavings are uh, out so we need to Replenish the supply of those as well. Um, I do have a lot of fibers. Well, where's my tool chest? Oh, I put it here. Hmm, okay. I do have a lot of fibers, but ooh, my hands. My hands. My my poor little hands. There we go. I'm going to make the wood shavings anyway, because I don't want to be without them. We have a lot of fibers, but I feel like it's a bad plan to like use them for burning we're gonna run out eventually we always do so why do it let's make a couple more cords yarn well we have a lot so we're gonna stop with that um let's see food situation is good we have some prawns well if you're already running the stove we might as well cook some stuff that's good um wooden planks i could I could we need to do something for like 30 minutes now since we're cooking that's the thing about cooking well the fish would not burn but the prawns would oh yeah right we have the goat here mm. so we should probably do that we should probably do that let's cook these as well and yeah let's uh solve the goat oh snap i didn't feel like i couldn't react there oh really <laughs> you don't like goat meat mice Mm, good for me <laughs> it's not like i would leave or die by that goat meat but yeah i put my fat here vigilantly but uh, i'm probably not gonna use it okay so i guess this batch of uh, goat meats we're gonna cook and then uh, we already have a lot of goat meat which is salted should we like do another one or should we salt some like, I feel like this is just slowing me down, making this huge supply of meat and stuff. You know what? Let's enough slowing down. It's enough slowing down. Let's cook everything here. Ah, the the goat broke. And uh, we can also smoke it to extend the durability. So I think I'm fine cooking everything here. Let's eat a piece, maybe. Let's have some nice meat. There we go. Uh, next step, uh, let's see, I wanted to do something, well, we have some bones here, making a clutter, oh yeah, no, let's clean up the place a little bit, it's in the toolbox, right, the broom, yes, I'm waiting for the rest of it to cook, good, let's take these out, I actually don't know what's my sleepiness situation, so I'm gonna have to figure that one out as well. Let's go and wash and maybe like catch a fish or something. That would mean we can turn this thing off now. Yeah, my aloe vera is out and we have some more. So let's go wash and put some more on. I feel like I have to run aloe vera like 100% of time now if I want to do any significant progress with the woodworking. It's just so heavy on the hands. But, uh, you know, give some usage to aloe vera, which I think is actually a good thing. Okay, we got some parrot fish. Oh, I found out something new. If you sold the parrot fish, you only get one scrap out. Ah, that's something I did not know. I'm gonna dive here first. Oh, I can hear the sounds of the machinery going here. Hmm. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna wash. There we go. Then we're gonna put the law wear on. I'm not stressed, so there is really no good reason to. Uh, dive right now i'm gonna use a little bit of time here just to pad the the machines a little bit with some uh, palm fronts 
Like getting fuel with your feet is gonna be a very good tactic for your late game, so you can relieve your hands as much as you can for for root working and stuff. Also, I think it's better to explore in the out outskirts here because you can find like wood, which is a little bit more efficient than the uh, palm fronts. You will also fall and find palm fronts. But the reason why I didn't do it is because it was dark, so I couldn't do it in the first place. Right, and I'm getting a little bit unlucky here, but that's fine. That's okay. Uh, palm front, let me find my still. There we go. Put the water in there, put it back inside. Let's grab some of those. Uh, let's actually grab some water for the goats. There we go. And there. Oops. That's fine. Uh, let's drink a little bit and eat. That's food. That's really good food. And let's take these out. There we go. Okay. Next step. Let's grab a couple of wood here. Actually. Hmm. I want to transfer some water. Okay, that's, let's just put it in there. I want to transfer some water from the beach to the... Not sure how much we'll be able to do it, though. Okay. So if I want to fill up both reservoirs, I'll actually have to transfer water from one to the other. So we can do a little bit of, like, get wood, bring it here, right? Then... Uh, Fill these up. Hmm, would be better to use clay vases. Problem with clay vases, you can't put them in the backpack. Okay. Well, there we go. And then uh, we need to put some more water in these. My friends, my water making friends, I love them so much. Okay. One, two, three. So, yeah, well, it's extreme drought run, so we don't have access to rain. Not really. If it falls, it's like a freaky thing, so I'd rather for it not to fall because it might even bring some uh, storm with it, which would not be good. <laughs> I will lose some items. It wouldn't be like a huge thing, but you know, better not. Okay, let's take care of the goats first. Okay. Couple more. Good. Nice. So that's solved. Now let's uh, start filling up the other reservoir. Take these out. Take these out. Mm, like that. Okay, cool. Bam, ba -da -bam, ba -bam. Nothing to see here, just using these reactions to do something useful. <laughs> there we go, and let's do that once more. And there. And then I feel like we'll be able to relax for quite a bit, turn the, the, the things off and uh, focus on, uh, on my crafting. I wish there was a faster way to do this, so... It's not yet. We do have a well in the jungle as well. <laughs> That's a sentence, I guess. Um, okay, cool. Now well, this time I actually don't have extra. Okay, cool. And we're gonna empty these. And that's gonna be it for a bit. Uh, this, this thing will actually get quite full. So that's good. The animation here slowing it down a little bit. But okay, 82%. That's really good. Will these grow up before? Uh, I'm not actually sure. We're going to keep an eye out on those. Nipa palms, really hard to grow on the jungle outskirts. Definitely not the best place to grow them at. But uh, it's um, it feels good for me. So that's why I do it like that. Okay, let's see. Okay, these are all fine-ish now. Let's pad them a little bit. Let's take a walk. Taking a walk might distress you a little bit. I don't know. Depends 
how often did you walk? If you walk too often. Interesting thing about stress in this game, right? If you do an action a lot, it becomes less and less distressing. You get bored by it. And well, I did say the jungle outskirts are better for this, but I actually don't know. If you get so many palm fronts, it might just, uh, you know, blur, blur the mat a little bit because this was very successful. Now this was not, <laughs> so it really depends. Your mileage might vary. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If I would always get fifteen fronts, that would probably be the best way to do it, like ever, forever, forever, forever. But uh, getting some occasionally already pretty good. Now you probably don't want to walk on the beach way too much, especially if you're like me and you just have some wraps around your wrists and stuff and. No clothes to speak of. Mm, yeah. Use a flower necklace. Okay. Let the shoes are looking good. Okay, I think oh, my, my hands should be better now. So let's go and do some uh, more uh, planks. So I need a copper axe. Well, actually. Well, you can sharpen the copper axe, so that's fine. Uh, so a scrap axe, you really have to think about what you use it on and uh, how much... Because for whatever you don't have to use the scrap axe, I would not use it. I would save it for things that require it. And then the copper axe, of course, you can resharpen, so you can use it for whatever. But uh, scrap is a limited resource, very limited resource. And before you have copper tools, you should really think about what you use them for and what's not. In my opinion, anyway. Okay, hands look okay-ish. Okay, so here's our log. I'm gonna take it inside the hut if I can. Not sure if I can, though. I think I should be able to and make some planks here. I prefer doing stuff inside because being inside my beautiful house makes me happy. Three hours to make this though, very hot. A little bit hungry. Okay, we're gonna fix the issues once we finish this. Flower necklace broke, okay. Now let's see how the stress will be doing after that. Okay, table. Okay, we already did that step. Uh, how long for the other one? One hour thirty. Okay, let's uh, take care of ourselves a little bit. Okay, this really hurt my hands. All right. Okay, let's go milk the goats. <laughs> the lag is like so so not too bad, but not amazing either. I wonder if uh, dirty enclosure stresses the 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 goats. There we go. That was the autosave at 10, 12. Game stops for a bit, but that's fine. Nothing too crazy there. But yeah, I can see why they don't want to make these autosaves way too common. I understand. Well, it seems like you're fine. You're not getting upset. You like to... You're like pigs. You like to roll out in your thing, right? No. Your ghosts, you're not pigs. Okay, uh, we are overheating, so we're gonna solve that. My law of error is almost done anyway. Well, I could just poke if I want to, though. Okay, these are out of fuel, so yeah, definitely should have done that first before milking the goats. I mean, they're out of salt water here. We also need to sleep. And there we go. Fuel's gonna last through the sleep though, probably. I think so. Um, okay, also, these are uh, <laughs> nice. They're full, so that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them a little bit more. And there we go. Okay, so we solve the heat problem. I don't think we're gonna wash here, so I'm just gonna put some more gel on. We can grab something for snack and then definitely go to, to take a nap. Not the best timing though. I don't like to nap in the middle of the day, but I feel like if I don't do it now, uh, things will become much, much worse morale wise. And my morale is already pretty low because I talk to the captain too much. That thing not worth talking to right now. But if we get some kind of interesting story thing about it, then we'll probably do it. Okay. Let's go sleep. I'm gonna nap here. And we're gonna nap once more during the night. Sleep is better for distressing. Uh, but uh, taking a nap here is something I prefer right now to get some more use out of the daylight. Okay. 
Ah, more alembic work. Well, alembics are like a chore, kind of, so. But they are beautiful. They help us survive. Otherwise, both me and my goats would die out of thirst, so. Okay. Okay, let's go and uh, do a little bit more exploring here. Sticks are okay, not as good as palm fronts because you find way more palm fronts. What we are looking, really looking for here, is some uh, some wood, but. Okay, let's see. There. This one's almost full as well. Fill that thing up. Okay. Ba -da -ba -ba. Do this. I can put my tools in the sack. There we go. Here you go, my lovely machines. You're not sentient, but I'm sure you appreciate it in some other way. There, we actually use that. Ooh. How cool. So yeah, since this update, you can equip things by just drag and dropping it on your portrait there. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, let's grab some more. Yeah, use your feet. It's really useful. Um, however, it does place it there. I'm gonna just scooch it up a little bit here. Okay, let's find some more before night. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Like 14% wood. Ooh, nice. Nice, that was a good one. There we go. How much more can we carry here? Like that, okay. I mean, yeah, you can obviously make multiple trips, but... Okay, put some wood there. Let's do the wood first, because wood has an easier time to overflow. Like some wood in each one, and then pad the rest with some sticks and leaves. Okay, cool. Uh, let's fill them up. So as soon as I need to go to sleep, I'll go to sleep. For now, we're fine, though. Uh, let's grab some water here. There we go. Things looking okay, we're all going down, but we shouldn't get depressed. We're just gonna get feeling a little bit down moment here, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some more palm fronts, and then once I need to go to sleep, we'll sleep. And then hopefully in the morning my hands are fine and we can finish off that table. Should be nice. And there we go. Yeah, this is a really good way to fill these up. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with the efficiency. Palm fronts, really, really good. Just wait for the developers to nerf this as well. <laughs> uh, I used to like do a lot of spear fishing in this game, but I don't think we're gonna like next uh, next character I start. I'm not gonna spear fish anymore. Just too slow now. Doesn't isn't worth it. Uh, it's too slow, not reliable enough. So we're gonna look for other food sources. For a long time, I was like the proponent that the fish. The spear fishing is the best way to like feed yourself in this game, and it really was. You could like max your spear fishing in like ten in-game days, and have so much fish that fish would be like fifty to seventy-five percent of your uh, food intake, and you will be able to gain weight by just adding something else here and there, some bananas, some coconuts. It's still possible, but it uh, takes way too lo way much longer to actually train the spear fishing enough. Okay, so my morale stabilizes around here and starts going back up, which is really good. So, like, uh, spear fishing, I would not recommend it anymore. Takes too much, takes too long to get going. And by the time you get it going, you can probably build enough fish traps that's gonna be better because this is passive. You don't have to spend time to do it, you just come and grab the fish, which is amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, spear fishing, at least in my playthroughs. Um, Unless I'm playing something very specific that doesn't have access. So yeah, you can actually, by just exploring the beach, you can easily keep up with four Alembics. That's kind of insane, knowing how much water they produce. 
So you're like exploring for water in like uh, in practice, right? Okay, let's see what's the time though. Okay, we have plenty of time left in this video. Good, uh, let's put this water inside my reservoir. So I built the reservoir specifically so I can more easily just store this water from Alembic so I don't have to go back and forth between the jungle outskirts and here. Although it doesn't take any in-game time, it's like more comfortable for me this way, so. Okay. There we go. Right, let's go eat and sleep. Pum, pum, pum. I think I'm gonna eat a piece of goat now. That's gonna be good. I'm also gonna put some aloe vera on. What's this? 81%? That's fine. I don't have that much food to, to like save anyway. And this fat is like, maybe we need it, maybe we don't. I don't know, it's gonna spoil at this rate though. Usually I used to make a lot of water skins from it. But uh, water skins used to be really, really good. They like uh, stop the things from evaporating. And I didn't want to use the pots for stopping things from evaporating because I thought it's kind of cheesy because they're so easy to make. But then the developers added these little ones here, which so basically you can make storable containers from clay and that's confirmed. The The pots were not a glitch, so water skins fell a lot down in my eyes since then. Why would you make water skins with fat, which is so hard to get, well, usually, if you can make like clay ones. But yeah, but these cannot store a lot, so eh, it's okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, looking pretty good here. Okay, we're probably getting a little bit tired, so... Low wear zone? Yeah, it is good. My hand pain is gone, that's good. Okay, in the morning, first thing I usually do. Let's talk to Weston once here. And let's... So if you're wondering why don't I have altered time, time state, why don't I have any stress, things like that, uh, and I'm 200 days in. That's because the, the systems work that once they update them, then they start affecting the character. So the game right now thinks that my character is like on day five. So it's gonna take a while before it gets harder. Okay, I think this will grow, fully grow up before the grow before um, the water runs out. So that's good. So because of that, I'm really having no issues. This is like the easiest run ever right now. So I kind of really need to start a new one to actually have a challenge. Oh, Rotten Remains. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, so I'll do that. But I want to explore the game. This will always be the same to, ex to the save file to explore the game. And once I make everything that's available here, I'll probably start a new save file. And let's see how the game feels from scratch up. I already tried it a little bit really fast on a separate save that I did not record, like just playing super fast, doing a lot of mistakes. And uh, it feels okay. Uh, there is one thing I'm not very happy about. And that is that you unlock the, the Weston, the Winston, the Wilson, the Weston. You unlock Weston on uh, day 20 when your lo uh, loneliness gets to 50%. Oh, by the way. I'm gonna clean up a little bit here. I'm spending time here losing morale because it's so dirty. So yeah, you uh, so see now since we started talking to Weston, we are way way happier. Um. So yeah. Um. I have no idea what I was talking about. Yeah, right. So you unlock the Weston on fifty percent, and uh, so loneliness has to come to fifty percent. It's gonna happen on day f uh, twenty. And because of that, the, the period between the day uh, 10, when the loneliness first shows up, and 20, when it gets to half before you can build the Western, it's like one of the hardest parts of the game. And then another hardest part is between day 20 and like 30, 35, until you get rid of all that loneliness. So between days like 15 and 25, you're going to be stressed a lot. And it's going to feel like it's totally unfair and you cannot do anything about it. And well, the reason why you're so stressed is because you're lonely. And I'm trying to talk to developers and uh, to see to see if they're gonna be like uh, I'm sure there is like, like a reason behind it it's a very complex system and uh, there's a reason to everything they do I just don't see it so in my opinion they could have made it that the loneliness becomes harder and harder over time and eventually just talking to Weston doesn't help anymore and you get lonely and things start going bad but why between days 15 and 25 
that part makes no sense to me. So I would smooth that out. I would uh, I would put it back uh, to unlock the Western on day uh, two or three like it used to be. When the first loneliness shows up. Did I say loneliness first shows up on day 10? No, it first shows up on day t three or four. So uh, once it shows up, you should unlock Weston and start talking to him, in my opinion. And But that's fine. That's fine. You just, uh, just stay optimistic. Know that uh, once you get rid of loneliness, things will start going good again. So just somehow go through, push through that hard period between uh, days like two, three and... 25, 30, and once the loneliness is gone, you're gonna feel great. Trust me on that. Loneliness is like the biggest stress in my playthroughs, at least. So, if you get wounded, that might be worse, but you know what? Uh, don't get wounded. That's about it. Are you empty already? Okay, we came just in time here. I like this timing of mine, so that's good. So 100% water. Oh, it's 1 to 2 ratio. That's really good, actually. It's 1 to 2 ratio. So in 8 hours, each one of these produces 50 half a clay vase of water, which is kind of amazing, actually. Even a little bit less than 8 hours. So that thing is almost full. So I'm going to do another session here. And the fuel looks good, so let's go and do that table finally. You're like, make the table. Hmm. I want to see something first though. Uh, let's grab these out. So let's see, wood carving. 30 minutes to make still, okay. And this thing, 30 minutes. So if you have your wood working high enough, it was hinted by developers it might reduce the amount of time. So if we have a table, it might shorten it. That would be amazing, but well, we have to get there first. How's my hands? Well, that didn't seem like this really hurt anything. Okay, good, good. So mission complete. Da, 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 dun, 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 dun. Should help me with my crafts, looks good too. 30 minutes. Um, oh, there we go. So this one's reduced from 30 to 15 minutes now. That's really good. That's really good. At least something, right? Obviously this didn't. This didn't. So if you notice some very low crafting times on my side, I wonder if this is unintended because this is not a blueprint. Uh, let's see. 1 hour 30. I actually don't remember how long that usually takes. Mm. Well, obviously this would not take zero, right? Mm. So this is something probably that needs balancing a little bit. It's hard to compare now, though. What else? Woven basket. 1 hour 45. Oh, I'm pretty sure this was 2 hours, right? Now I'm gonna think everything is <laughs> is lower while it actually isn't. This takes half an hour usually, I think. So does this. Okay, I think there are a number of items in the game. Aloe gel, nice. There, so whatever you can make on the table. So there's a specific list of blueprints that the, that the developer deemed you can make on a table and it's gonna take a shorter time to craft. Love it. Um, yeah, pretty sure this was two hours. Yeah, you can let me know in the comments how long does it take for you to make, if you don't have the table, to make like a woven hat, to make the woven basket, stuff like that. Okay. Cool. Workplace, major effect. Okay, that's the table. And maybe the chair a little bit. So this is my workplace table and the chair. Ooh, love this effect. That's really, really good. Um, okay, how are we doing? Okay, so this was my first misclick. So if you click, uh, if you try to open the Zack and click too high, it's gonna move it. Some people are very annoyed by that. Uh, I understand why, but it's okay. It's not a huge deal. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna grab some food here. 
my weight did go down a little bit. But uh, as a result, I have to eat way less because my appetite also went down. So I don't spend so much time um, eating and I can do other stuff, which is really good. I like that. Okay, uh, we're going to go and grab some more aloe vera here. Well, actually, no, we're going to wait for this to, to expire first. Then we're going to do the trick when you rub some leaves on you first. And then after you're done rubbing the leaves, uh, we do the... You might be like right now, oh... You have too few goats, you don't have enough milk. Yeah, actually, they don't produce that fast, do they? And once this one gives uh, birth to new goats, it's going to be even slower. But that's okay. We're sick of milk anyway. If we have this on, that means we're getting enough milk into our system. We cannot get more than that. But anyway, the whole appetite hungry thing is I don't want to be hungry to like affect my morale. But I also don't want to like eat all the time and not do anything else. So I balance it by like being half hungry to let my appetite not go up or down and pretty much. Okay, cool. There we go. So I'll keep this running for like, like, I don't know, five more minutes and then we're going to wrap up the episode. Maybe less. We'll see. Let me think. What else would I like to do here? Well, my hands seem to be fine, so... I don't know. You know what? Let's just explore a little bit. Fill these up. Uh, let's grab that fish, though. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I, I really pumped up the appetite. I was eating when full, like, all the time for, like, 30, 40 days. Like a lot of fish, a lot of some other stuff and my appetite went through the roof. So I was able to eat more and more and more and more. So I was gaining weight by eating fish. That's doable. By eating fish, milk, uh, coconuts, stuff like that. And you can actually gain weight by doing it, by eating simple foods. But you need to eat a lot of it. And um, probably not the best way to gain weight, but the simplest way to gain weight. And I used it a lot. Uh, I should probably like explore the jungle instead, like I already mentioned a little bit earlier. So we're gonna do exactly that. And then uh, once my aloe vera is out, we're gonna reapply aloe vera, make the wood cra carving thing, and then I think we're gonna wrap the video up. Waste not, want not, right? A little bit more aloe vera to use here. <laughs> okay. Waste not, want not was like my catchphrase when I started this game. I refused to destroy anything. <laughs> and, well, it still kind of uh, stayed with me. Like, you can uh, notice that I have so, so many items. I would like to do an efficient run. I would like to do a run where I do things, like, efficiently. Where I avoid doing things which are not efficient and just try to do it efficiently. To see, like... Where can we get? So that's probably going to include some prepared meals, actually. Okay, a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. Let's go grab some uh, goat milk. And this is almost done, so it's going to be good. Okay, let's take this out. We're going to get some new goats soon. Probably next episode at this rate. Okay. There we go. One thing that's actually worried me a little bit is the um, amount of palm trees that I have. I cut down quite a bit of them, so I'm actually not sure. Okay, the lovera is almost out. Let's uh, do some wood carving now. There we go. Well, my hands are fine. Okay, we can do some lovera now. Okay, we're going to wash first. Stress still not existing, so I'm not gonna dive just yet. There we go. These look fairly okay. Let's just pad them out a little bit. I'm gonna turn them off before I end this episode, so we can focus on other things uh, the day after tomorrow. Um, right, aloe vera, how are we doing with that? We have plenty still, so that's good. Before the aloe vera runs out, I would like to replant it as well. 
Although, like, I am getting to the point where um, I have all the craftables I want. I still need to make the big shelf, though, so. Okay. Uh, let's eat something. Finish the carving. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like my brain already goes there automatically to grab some food. This is how I use I used to it got so I should probably like do it like this. Okay. Mm, look at this high comfort, home sweet home, high comfort. I don't think stress will be able to do anything to us while we we are inside here, and as we make more figurines, it's gonna become even better. Okay, that's plant. That's fine. There we go, seagull figurine. Oh, wait, what? We can place four figurines now? Since when? I tested this. It was not possible. We have a full set here. There we go. We need to complete two more sets. Oh, wait, Is this can go here. Okay, we have another set. Nice. And yeah, that actually increases comfort by quite a bit. If I take this out, look at that go down. So that's pretty good. Let's see if I did it correctly. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. These two are married, right? There we go. Okay. Come on, are you kidding me right now? There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go turn off the Alembics and then we're gonna finish this episode. It's really intensive for me to like keep refueling them. Most of my time is lost like just exploring and refueling the Alembics. But um, it's worth it. It's really worth it. So. Like, it's such a good way to... It's such a good way to get water. I think the Alembics are the best, <laughs> especially in Extreme Drought Run. If you're playing like a normal run, you might be perfectly happy making a whole bunch of reservoirs and just surviving to rain to rain. Even the dry period, you can easily survive uh, without issues if you have enough... Um, enough water stored like uh, like reservoirs or maybe some uh, water skins even clay vases are pretty good okay thank you very much i appreciate your hard work there we go we need more ash to do the planting there and that's gonna make me dirty so we're gonna wash and then we're gonna go into uh, I think it's fine. There we go. If we get a storm on Extreme Drought Run, I'll be like, wow. <laughs> right? Okay, use the spear. I'm still pretty bad at spear fighting, but this is a very efficient way to train spear fighting. 15 minutes per point. So every time the seagull comes, we just try to poke it and fail at it, and that's okay. Okay. Right. Well. Let's sleep. No stress still. If you're stressed, just like take a sleep occasionally instead of a nap. Okay. And of course, I'm not gonna leave without, you know, hydrating myself here. Oh, that's bad. Go. Cool. Let's just check out on the goats real fast. They're fine, food, water, okay. We're gonna check them out anyway next episode because that's something I always do. Okay, cool. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. We made a wonderful table and in fact, it does speed up some of the crafts, not many. We're gonna explore which ones and what, but I wouldn't worry too much about which ones, which ones not because it also increases the comfort of your home and that's really, really important. So make it when you can. I think it's really good, so. Make the, the, the table, make the chair, and then shelves. So these 
if we want enough figurines to max the high co the comfort out, we're gonna need like 20, 30 more figurines. That's not gonna fit here. So we're gonna make this shelf. And apparently, uh, supposedly you can see them here. <laughs> I think. We'll see. That would be really cool if you can. So I'm gonna try to make this next episode. So it should be cool. Anyhow, that's gonna be it for this one. If you enjoy it, like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Well, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Nimer signing out. Bye bye.